Hello and welcome back to another video and in today's video we have more progress done on our time grab so in this video I'm going to explain what we've done I also have a few clips to show you of uh, just the whole procedure of how we made how we made everything and all that but uh, we got my my uncles my dad's brother uh, one Massey Ferguson one of the tractor because that's what this is going on so uh we got that so we could have the front loader as a guide to make um, what we're making here. We also took the front bucket off his front loader as well, which is actually gone at the moment. He must have took it away with him. But we had the bucket for the front loader uh, out here as well as a guide to get all the lugs and stuff to line up with the front loader because obviously... It's a Massey Ferguson 80 front loader, so if you don't know what that is, I might put a picture on of that type of front loader in this video while I'm editing, if I remember, but if you don't know what a Massey Ferguson 80 front loader is, you can look it up, but um, that's what front loader he has on his 188, and as you may have seen, these are the lugs we currently have um, made for it. So the original idea was, was to put a Euro bracket joint on it so that you could get the, uh, our old contractor's 6280 and hitch up to it and then make a completely different sort of adapter where, where the adapter would connect to the Euro bracket and then the up other side of the adapter would be something like this so that we could put it onto the Massey Ferguson 80 front loader which is on the Massey Ferguson 188. That was the initial idea, which is, uh, you, you may have remembered in my last time grab video, that's what I was uh, trying to explain. But um, that uh, plan obviously changed. We did try alternative plans, um, but uh, they didn't work out for us. Uh, so this is the plan we ended up with. It's the best we could do, and it's the one that works sufficient. So... Uh, yeah, anyways, we'll get in and explain everything. So we'll come to the top bit and all that stuff uh, near the end of the video. I just want to focus now the attention to what you see here. It's the same the far side. So all we got was uh, a bit of flat iron, which you can see is going up this direction. You have a bit on the bottom, at the top, and a bit at the bottom as well, just to give it a, that extra bit of strength. And stuck in between the box iron on the time grab and the flat is this lug here. So there's an owl sort of scoop thing that comes in and up. And then the clip goes down around it. And that's what lifts up. Um, it's very similar on the bucket he had that we had outside, which is obviously gone now. But that's what that is. I also have a video clip showing you how it works, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, yeah, that's what that is. And then we kind of have like a, a boomerang bracket on the front loader. And that boomerang sort of thing is what uh, tips uh, out and in the time grab or the bucket. And you just slide that on and uh, that's what tips it out. We still have to drill holes in this uh, first where we want to put some sort of uh, like a washer type tin out here. So there's a, a bit of a gap between the boomerang thing so that it doesn't go in at the box iron here. So, you know, you might have a bracket here and then the it'll stop uh, the the boomerang front loader bracket, tipper bracket from going in too far. So it'll stop here. So we'll drill a hole, put pins in it and that'll keep that um, secured. Um, so... Um, we started just by getting a, and this top bit is just a bit of box iron. Uh, we have the open edges of the box iron um, uh, sort of covered. Just a little bit of flat iron there that we wedged into it and welded around it to keep it, it to keep all the dirt and stuff out. The two open ends on the box iron are the same. And then we got this bit of um, pipe or solid um round bar solid round bar that's what it is we've got this bit of solid round bar and we just welded it onto the box iron and uh that's that's that and we have this underneath now this is you're going to probably say is very smart um 
We've done work on our old contractor's baler. You've seen this baler in my silage videos. And what that basically is for is just to strengthen this box iron here for when it goes, when it tips out and tips in because there'll be a lot of pressure on this tipping out and tipping in uh, and on the box iron as well. So that's just to give that, that little bit of extra strength and security so it won't uh, snap off. But what that is, is when we've done a job on that baler and all that is, is one of these. We basically, um, from that top corner there, a straight line down, we cut that bit off and kept this bit here. And that's what is, uh, is there as uh, an extra bit of strength which is a bit smart, I must say. But anyways, when we first um, thought of this idea, we just got a length of box iron, tacked it on, cut this bar out. Now this box iron wasn't cut to actual size, it was just a rough idea, just as a test, to see would it actually work. Um, I have a clip of that, which I'm gonna show you now in a minute. But um, we only welded it onto one side, just to see um, how well it would tip and tip in and tip out and would it tip and on the bucket It's very similar. You have this you have a bar sticking out like this on the bucket and you have a bar sticking out there on the bucket and the distance between this bar and that bar is uh, Six inches so if you came out six inches here and up that's six inches right there So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna show you the clip now of us testing this mechanism that we've after making here of it tipping in and tipping out so i'm going to show you that clip now All right, so when I'm editing this video, I should have showed you the clip of this hitched on the 188, tipping out and tipping back in again. And I should have also showed you the sort of a little sort of montage type clip of it being hitched up to the front loader. So the, the boomerang 10 being hitched up to this and the other arm being connected to this. I should have showed you that clip as well, just to show you what I was trying to explain as well. Um, but yeah, you've seen how it tipped and how well it tipped. Um, obviously, in that video, um, it was uh, just that we were. It was just a rough idea. We thought of that idea, so we said we tested it out. So we just got a length of box iron. We didn't bother cutting it to size because if it didn't work, then we'd only have a length of box iron that size, and it mightn't come in handy for us at all. So we just found whatever box iron we had lying down on the ground there, tacked it on. We cut this to we cut this to size and tacked it on and uh, came in with the 188 and we uh, connected it to it and it tipped a uh, no bother as you've seen in the in the in the video clip and very similar when we were making this because we made these first we drove in the um, 188 and we had all this sort of tacked up, so if we needed to do any adjustments, we could have. So we tacked all that bit up, 
even this. We came in then with the 188, clipped it on and lifted it up and lifted it down and it worked. We welded it all up and then we moved on to this, um, which uh, we done measurements when we had the bucket. We done measurements when we had the front loader in here as well. Uh, we came up with that idea. We tacked everything up, connected it to it. It, it tipped, so then we uh, decided to go with that specific idea. And as you can see, it worked. Now, it mightn't be the best. It mightn't be the best looking thing in the world, but uh, it's, not about, it's not about looks, really. It's about practicality. It fits onto the uh, front loader and it works. It works on the front loader. So that's basically, that's all you really need, really, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's how we've done that. Now, first of all, we weren't going to initially use this as the idea. This was always going to be the idea, the new idea. Um, when, we weren't, you, when we weren't going putting the Euro brackets on the back end of it and then using an adapter type thing for the different types of front loaders out there. Uh, this was always going to be the new idea when we weren't doing our first initial idea. We were going to use this, um, but we weren't using, we weren't going using this idea initially, this top bit, which is why in the video clip you've seen, we were testing it out. We were hoping we could have some sort of bar or something going down the middle of it here. So if we could have maybe, maybe drilled a hole in this and have some sort of bar coming out and connecting to the front loader or something, so for it to, for for this to tip, uh, but we tried a lot of different ideas and they didn't work. And then when we tried this, which is the situation that is that's that's on the bucket. Cause, well, on the bucket it's it's different because you have a a solid flat flat edge on it, and you don't have any of these awkward ear looking yokes coming out of it. It's just bare coming out of the bucket. Um, but this is a time grab. We couldn't do it the same way as it was on the bucket, so we had to do it that way that you see that you see here. So once all that was working and all welded up um, and looking good, we then um, we moved on to we just we decided to put the top bit on the time grab, and that's basically what it looks for those who doesn't that didn't know. That's what it looks basically all put back together. Um, so all you, have to, all you have to do is put your little pins in. You can see it there. It's just little pins. You've one in the middle as well. And you've one on this side. And then you obviously have the pin for the uh, this yoke here. The pin for the hydraulic there. But yeah. And uh, we tested this. There's no pipes on it as yet. But we did test it by lifting it up by hand. And this lifts up very, very high. It literally lifts up at a 90 degree angle straight up from the bottom half. So uh, I'll put the camera down and I'll lift it up by hand and show you. But it does lift very, very high. We weren't expecting it. Well, the old man wasn't expecting it to lift that high. He was expecting it maybe that it'll go up. And the top, it'll end up going the full way. When this is tipped up, the, when the top bit is tipped up the full way, that it won't be going straight up at a 90 degree angle from the bottom bit, that maybe a 35 degree or 30 degree angle when it's fully uh, tipped up. And I was telling them that it will most likely tip up near straight at a 90 degree angle, if not even straight up as an, at a 90 degree angle from the bottom bit of it. And he was a, doubt, a bit of a doubt in Thomas. He didn't believe me at first. But uh, then when we lifted up by hand, there might have been a I told you so um, thrown in there. But yeah, anyways, the only thing left to do now is to get um, pipes for it, hydraulic pipes. Uh, we can get them made in a local uh, agricultural dealership slash garage uh, mechanical area just not too far away from where I'm based. Uh, so it should be handy enough and then we can connect it to the front loader and then uh, see will the, the hydraulic actually move this. And if it does, it's, it's ready to go. It's there, it's, ready to, it's fully made and ready to go.
But uh, I think I'll set the camera down now and lift this up by hand and show you how far this bit actually tips up. So we'll do that now. So there you go, you've seen how high it tipped up. It literally tips up a vertical at a 90 degree angle from the bottom half, which is a nice um, way, it tip, it's a nice wide way of it tip, tipping up. It's, you get a lot of stuff in there. So uh, what are we going to be using this mainly for? Moving uh, bushes, if you're, we're cutting trees for timber for firewood and we're cutting the branches off it. We'll pile the branches up maybe in a field or somewhere. We'll come in with this and grab it and bring it down the bog or somewhere for them to rot away. And a nice big open mouth or grab on it for that as well. But it's also going to be used for uh, dung as well. When we get our... Uh, well, the brother claims uh, the, the 188 and that mightn't be able because the weight... This is very very heavy and the 188 is only a two-wheel drive tractor so when you consider the weight of this and the amount of dung that it's possibly going to be gra grabbing and tipping in um the brother claims it's not it's, it won't be able for it uh, so he'll be using he claims especially be using our old contractors 6280 and our old contractors time grab but uh yeah, if it's not able for the dung, it'll be able to move bushes and branches and whatever else it's possibly going to be at and able to do. That's what it'll be at. Uh, it'll be mostly on our, well, it'll only be on our uncle's tractor, the 188 or the Massey Ferguson 80 front loader, because that's the mechanism uh, we have set up for it. Now, the, the Euro brackets... Um, I don't know about the Euro brackets. Are we going to weld Euro brackets onto it and have you can so you can put in a, a front loader that has a Euro hitch on it and leave that there as well and not use an adapter, if you know what I mean. I don't know what the story is with that, but our old contractor has his own time grab that has the Euro brackets on it and it goes on to the 6280. So, you know, I, there mightn't be a need for that, but if ever our old contractor is using his 6280 and is using his time grab, or maybe he has the time grab, his own time grab, uh, borrowed out to someone else. Uh, we have our own one that can only go on to the, our uncle's 188, my uncle's 188. So uh, whether or not the Euro, we'll put Euro brackets on at a later stage, I'm not 100% sure. But that's basically it now. That's what it looks. All we have to do is the hydraulic pipes. And it's motor and it's ready to go. It'll be sucking diesel, as the man would say. But yeah, the next video you see of the time grab, um, hopefully it'll be it uh, working on the 188 doing something. But uh, we'll soon find out and we'll see. But that is going to be the end of today's video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Leave down in the comments what you think of, of that and what you think of our handiwork here. Um, whether you like it or not, it's it's practical, it does the job, it goes on to the front loader, it tips up and it tips down, it does what it says on the tin, but I don't know the looks, it doesn't, I don't like how it looks, it's very, it's like, um, it's like sort of ears sticking out of it, wide, sticky, sticky out ears on it and it, I don't know I don't like the look of it but it's it's practical and it works and it says what it does on the tin so that is just that is the main thing it can be used um but yeah anyways leave down in the comments what you think of our uh handiwork and our design uh please like the video and subscribe to the channel check out my merch and I'll see you in my next video very soon take care